Pikachu time. It's Detective Pikachu time. It's been a while since we played because we've had some tech issues. But it's Detective Pikachu time. Let's solve mysteries. Let's solve mysteries. Yippee! Oh yeah, let's read the newspaper and see if there's anything in there. It's morning paper. Guess I'll give it a quick read. Even the smallest article something can offer vital info. Chief of Pokemon Protection Bureau removed for misconduct. Mm -hmm. It's an article about Chief Butler. You mean former Chief Butler. He captured innocent Pokemon in exchange for money. There's no way he's keeping his title to that. Seems like all the Pokemon being detained at the police station were able to return to their homes. And the police are searching to the for the Pokemon that were sent to Unitas. Looks like Brad's team is handling that. It's the least they can do after they went around arresting all of us innocent Pokemon. Gossip Floor Choir performs the Full House. <laughs> it's an article about the Gossip Floor Choir concert. That's the group you saved from disbanding, right? I don't know if I'd go that far. Still, I didn't expect to see them in the newspaper. They're a bigger deal than I thought. It says their concert tickets tend to sell out fast. It's a good thing we managed to find them all. Yep, looks like we made it to the next stop on their tour, no problem. Let's go see them next time they're in Rhyme City. Sounds good to me. We should check out their concert schedule. Researchers remain baffled by the mystery of Ferret's tale. Hmm. I'm just glad there are people out there doing this kind of research. Where does Ferret's body end and its tail begin? Seems like the researchers involved in this debate couldn't reach a conclusion. The topic's come up a few times before, right? But no one's been able to find a real answer. See? No one has that problem when they look at me. My body's here and my tail's back there. Easy. Ferret, though, that's a completely different story. Not even a great detective like me could get to the bottom of that mystery. But they just walk. The migratory plat patterns of Taylo. Hmm. Wonder what happened to that Taylo? Is that the one you met while I was detained? If it ended up living near Fountain Plaza, I'm sure it'll eventually stop feeling homesick. That place gets a lot of foot traffic, you know? Yeah, I always see people in Pokemon there. During the colder months, Taylo flies south to live where, where it's warmer. That Taylo will probably do the same eventually. Well, I hope it, it enjoys its time here until then. Alright, we're good, so I guess let's head out. Oh, wait, should I probably talk to my mom and my sister? Right. It was quite startling when Pikachu fainted last night. But it's understandable considering he was being held at the police station, but the same thing happened during dinner the other day, too. I think the two of you may be pushing yourselves a bit too hard. Why don't you take today to rest? I wish we could, but there's still a lot to investigate. Pikachu's ready to go, too. Hmm, why don't you take it easy until lunch, then? Thanks, but we're already getting a late start, but we already gotta head out. Of course you do. Sorry, we'll see you later. Uh, Sophia. Yes? How did you like the coffee I made? Well, uh, let me see. Not good? Oh, you made that coffee? Thanks, Sophia. She had her heart set on making coffee for Pikachu and was practicing it all day. You were pretty worried about him, huh? Well, of course I was worried. Pikachu is family. Thanks, Sophia. That was the best coffee I've ever had. Was it already just lying to her like what all dads do their kids? Anyway, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Pikachu. Right. I still prefer let's go, Eevee. Memories of the bamboo forest. Ooh, mysterious. Yo! This looks like Hisui! That's so cool! All right, Tim, let's go find Jessica. Yeah, we need to make sure that Unitas organization isn't after her. Because we don't have time to, for any sightseeing while we're here. Jessica should be working at the pizzeria. Let's go find her first to see if she's around. Right. Oh yeah, pizza time! It's pizza time, baby! We gotta go see pizza! We get to go eat you know, pizza! It's pizza time! Let's go! And funnily enough, I had pizza for dinner! Ooh! Do I even need to say it? Okay. Ah! Oh! 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 Sylveon! This is Sylveon! Sylveon! <laughs> Sylveon! Sylveon! Yeah. Brings good vibes on ribbon-like feelers. Oh, bless. I love it so much. Sil? You're feeling uneasy? I don't know how to respond to that. Me too, bitch, but that's okay. Okay, where's Jessica? I wasn't really paying attention. Are you the owner? Yes. Hi there, thanks for stopping by. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Excuse me. Uh, thanks? Our pizza dough is infused with bamboo charcoal, giving it an aroma and flavor unlike anything you've tasted. 
You could say our pizza has real pizzazz. <sighs> sure have a lot of energy. Good pizza starts with good energy. That's my motto. Come on, let's ask them some questions. About the pizzeria. I'm actually in the middle of concocting a new type of pizza. It's a mushroom pizza that uses toku, to, to, tochu kaso? Tochu, tochu kaso? I can't fucking read! I've got a hit on my hands, don't you think? Tochu kaso? Is that some kind of herbal medicine? That's right, good guess. The idea popped into my head when I saw Paris. I'm sure people would enjoy a health-minded pizza. About Jessica? Excuse me. We're looking for this woman in this photo. We heard she works here? She does, yeah, that's Jessica. She's been working here about two years now. Why are you looking for her? She's a friend of ours. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy to know you came by. I'm afraid she's not here at the moment, though. I believe she's gone to get bamboo charcoal and other pizza ingredients. That's an important job when you work at a restaurant. That's helpful to know. Thank you. The bamboo charcoal shop is right over there. Why don't you take a look? Uh... Oh, is this it? It's like no one's at the bamboo charcoal shop. Uh... Mm -hmm. Hey Pikachu, what's this? It's bamboo charcoal. Local charcoal artisans burn bamboo to create it. Wow, that's a surprisingly thorough answer. Yeah, I guess it was. I wonder if the workshop is in the back. It's possible. I can hear some faint noises. Should we go check? Nah, best not to disturb an artisan at work. Besides, we'd probably hear Jessica's voice if she was back there. Yeah, you're right. Do I ask around the- do I go out here? What a huge gate. Wonder if it's- yep, it's locked. If this gate weren't locked, we could get into bamboo forest through here. We don't want to go forcing our way in, so let's try asking people in the area for information. Uh, well, we're definitely not going to talk to you, so... I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I, I could go there and eat every day, no problem. Is it that good? Oh man, I don't even have the words to describe how good it is. She must be talking about the pizzeria where Chisco works. Let's ask her about it. Right, excuse me. Could we maybe ask you a few questions? Of course, got questions about pizza. I'm your gal. Damn, you must really love pizza, bitch. About the pizza and Barbo Bureau. Pizzeria in this neighborhood is famous among pizza enthusiasts. Famous, huh? Now I want to try it. We can get some after we finish our investigation. See anything unusual lately? Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Let's see, something strange happened yesterday at the pizzeria. What, at the pizzeria? Tim, if it happened yesterday, then that must mean... Yeah, can you tell me uh, more about what happened? They served me something that wasn't on the menu. Does that mean they consider me a regular now? Wait, that was the strange thing? One thing's for sure, she really loves that pizzeria. Hello, Paris. Host mushroom parasites. I like the little noise it makes. It's kind of cute. It sounds like a cat. Ba -da -ba -da. He says his partner is obsessed with pizza. That must be a lot to deal with. About Bamboo Burrow. Paras, paras. Hmm. He says the manager of the pizzeria and the folks at the herbal remedy shop are always glancing at him. I guess they really like him? See anything unusual lately? Hey. Have you witnessed anything unusual lately? Para para. Nothing in particular, huh? Well, sorry to bother you. Hello, Belossum. Dancer in full bloom. Aww. Sam, Sam. Oh, you're busy right now? My bad. Alright, sorry. Excuse me. Hello there, huh? huh? Something wrong? Er, this is the first time we've met, right? I think so. Why do you ask? You remind me of someone I met a while back who helped an injured Pokemon. I see. You must look similar, huh? Maybe you have a doppelganger, Tim? By the way, can I ask you a few questions? About Bamboo Burrow. The air here feels really clean, doesn't it? Why do you think that is? I don't know why. Because bamboo plants keep the air clean. If you put bamboo charcoal in your room, it'll keep the air clean there too. I guess bamboo charcoal isn't just used for fuel. Maybe we can give some as a souvenir? Good idea. Let's get some for Pablo and Holiday too. See anything unusual lately? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Nope, everything's the same as ever. Just look at Miss J. She's busy like always. Miss J? Who's that? Miss Jessica. She knows a lot about Pokemon. Jessica, do you know where she is right now? I saw her leave the pizzeria earlier. Thanks, we'll keep looking around here then. Oh, there's an Alolan Meow, but I'm not going to talk to it. No. No, I'm not going to talk to this Blossom. Psyduck! <laughs> it's vacant stare, uh, Belly's great power. 
It sure does. Psyduck. Hey, Psyduck, what are you doing here? Psy. What's it saying, Pikachu? Psyduck's partner is conducting interviews around here. She's doing a special report on local restaurants so that she's looking for good places to eat. It's asking if we know of any good places. Well, we just got here, so I'm not really sure. My number one recommendation is a pizzeria right here. Your oven fresh bamboo charcoal pizza is out of this world. The curry place over there is good too. They put tomato berries in their curry so it's super spicy, but it goes well with coffee. You say that like you've eaten at all these places. Huh, well I guess you're right. wonder why. Anyway, you said your partner's doing interviews for a special report. Is she a reporter? Psyduck. Oh, okay, your partner's a reporter for GNM. A reporter with a Psyduck, huh? Sounds kind of familiar, hmm? Welcome, how about a souvenir to remember your trip? Oh, I love souvenirs. Let's take a look, Tim. You never know, we might learn something useful. Hmm, I feel like I've seen you somewhere. You hear that, Tim? People recognize us here, too. I got it, you two are detectives, right? Close. I'm just not a detective, though. I'm a great detective. I've got just the thing for a couple of sleuths. I'd love to take a look. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? About the souvenir shop. Hey, isn't this hat... <gasps> a detective hat! Hey, it looks just like mine. Excellent choice. This, that detective hat is very popular with kids. Why don't we get one for Sophia as a souvenir? I think it might be a bit too small for her. You're probably right. Too bad. Oh, I was hoping that they would give us the cape. Because we really still need that cape after I lost it in that auction. God damn it. See anything unusual lately? Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual in the neighborhood lately? Hmm, well, I've been seeing some new faces recently. Interesting. What sort of new faces exactly? Why, hip youngsters like yourself, of course. I'll bet they heard all about the rare souvenirs we carry. Can't find goods like these in the city, you know. Heh <laughs> he's a dedicated salesman. No kidding, seems like no one suspicious has come by at least. Oh, is that every Yeah, it's everybody, okay. Huh? Did someone scream just now? Oh shit! It came from up ahead. Let's go check it out. It's fight time, wee woo wee woo! There's Jessica, in a regular meow, and an old dude. Charcoal shop master, artisan in bamboo burrow. Meow. 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 Purvoyer of shiny things. Oh, well, that's a cute little meow sound. Are you okay? Oh, don't worry. I've just gone and thrown out my back again. Ow. Jessica. Rachel. Tim. Friends of Jessica, are you? Of course my back decided to give out now. Hmm? Uh, something wrong? No, no, just sitting with memories. Sorry for the trouble, Jessica. Please don't be sorry. Just take it easy. Wish I could at least deliver the bamboo charcoal, but I'm out of stock, sorry to say. In that case, I can go to the kiln and get some charcoal. I was about to go to the bamboo forest to collect some pizza ingredients anyway. Mighty kind of you to offer, but I fear the bamboo charcoal might be too heavy for one person to manage alone. We can help. I'm up for that. What do you think, Jessica? Thanks, you two. That'd be a big help. Much obliged. Sorry as about the, to put you both to work after you came all the way to see Jessica. We're happy to help, really. We'll give it our all. I'm getting pumped just thinking about it. Meow, meow, meow. Thanks, meow. Take care of the boss for me, okay? Meow, that's right. The bamboo forest is beyond the gate, right? It was locked earlier. What, that a princess of mine? Did you lock the gate when you looked the, for the charcoal kiln? I told him to keep the gate open from morning to evening. Ow! Easy, getting worked up isn't get going to help your back. Here, take the key and be careful out there. We will, thank you. Seems like those people targeting Jessica haven't made it here yet. Yeah, thankfully. Hey Jessica, how are you doing? You haven't seen any of the suspicious around, have you? I don't think so, why? Oh, it's nothing, never mind. Come on, let's hurry up and get this done. To the bamboo forest! Why is this Berserk Pokemon sign here? Looks like an Earth ring? R could be why. We dealt with that years ago. No need for this now. Now get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> the little walk! <laughs> the fucking little walk! <laughs> oh god, it's PTSD time! Pikachu, oh, I was to say you good buddy, but no, you're tripping balls, dude. You're tripping balls. Oh shit! Flashback. 
Warning. Berserk Pokemon. This is definitely the spot. Excuse me. Go. Oh, sorry, I can explain. Here. It's on the card. Oh, well, thanks. Harry Goodman. You're a detective? <sighs> I'm not just a detective. Huh? I'm a great detective. Detective Harry. Yeah, he definitely possessed the Pikachu. Oh shit! Do you get to play as Harry now? Whoa, okay. I, I That's gonna be interesting. Huh, well, great detective or not, I can't say I've heard of you. <laughs> well, you'd know if you were in the know, you know. Right, so you're here on official business then? Did something happen to warrant investigation by a great detective? Yep, that incident with the Berserk Pokemon. What? You came all the way here for that? You reported to the police, so there's no need to put yourself in danger. Plus, the bamboo force is closed off right now. Right, understandably. It would be dangerous if the Berserk Pokemon got into this area. We all came into agreement that we should keep the gate locked until the police give us permission to reopen it. For now, the boss is holding on to the key. That all makes sense. The safety of everyone in that neighborhood is top priority. Who's this boss he mentioned? The master of the charcoal shop, and he's also responsible for tending the bamboo forest. Hence why he has the key to the gate. Well, that was very helpful. Thanks. Sorry to be involved with you at this time. The pizzeria must be opening for lunch soon. What? How do you know you run a pizzeria? The flour and sauce on your clothes are fresh. Of course, I can smell the bamboo charcoal on you. Huh, guess you really are a great detective. Well, I'm going to head back now. I'll stop by your shop later. Hmm. There have been multiple eyewitness reports of Pokemon going berserk in the city. But I didn't think those same incidents would happen in a peaceful place like this. Seems like something's a loop in Rhyme City. I'll start my investigation by talking to locals. Great detective tip number 12. Use those legs while investigating. Oh shit, I really am playing as Harry. Cool! Well, there's the lady in the Paris. I'm a big fan of the pizzeria in this neighborhood. I could eat there every day, no problem. Hmm. I've heard their pizza is famous, but eating it every day seems like overkill. Trust me, you'll understand once you try it. Alright, I will. I'd love to hear what you think of the pizza. About Bamboo Burrow. Is it your first time in Bamboo Burrow? Hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful neighborhood. Isn't it? Between the fantastic air quality and the delicious food, life's pretty good here. About the Berserk Pokemon. The other day I heard crackling noises and a deep roar come from the bamboo forest. It came out of nowhere and it totally freaked me out. All I could think about was making sure my poor Paris was safe. <sighs> that must have been scary. Were you hurt? No, it was okay. I heard later on that it was a Berserk Pokemon making all that noise. The deep roar you mentioned is a helpful piece of information, but it's still difficult to guess what kind of Pokemon it was. About bamboo forest. The bamboo forest is usually so quiet and serene, but we're not allowed to go in now. Hmm. Yeah, I saw the warning sign about the Berserk Pokemon. Folks at the pizzeria get a lot of their ingredients from Bamboo Forest. At this rate, they're going to be in trouble. The Bamboo Forest plays an important role in the lives of the people here. Having it closed off must create some serious problems. Also, as I was going to say, like, this sign has an Ursa ring on it. But I would think that this area would have Pangaro. Because, you know, Bamboo, Pandas. But, I don't know, that's just me, I guess. Hello. I'm so bored. Mm -hmm. Hey, kiddo, why the long face? I'm not allowed to play in the bamboo forest anymore. Because of the bizarre Pokemon, right? Yeah, I used to go in there every day, but now it's suddenly too dangerous. I understand your frustration, but I think it's best to play in uh, this one safe. You can play somewhere else for the time being, right? Sure, but I don't uh, just go in there to play. I hope run errands, too. Is that right? Good for you. Plus, like, I was there first, not the bizarre Pokemon. The bamboo forest has always been my spot. Yeah, that's how it works. Usually, if you're there first, uh, then 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 that place is all is obviously yours. Like take my take my room for example. Like you know, like my room here. Like when I first got this room, I peed in it to make sure everyone knows that it's my room. I see why you're upset, but hey, Mister, if you ever see that berserk Pokemon, tell him to stop, okay? Hey, yeah, sure thing, kid. I'll let him know. Yeah, that's how it works. <gasps> This Eevee probably evolves into that Sylveon! Oh, it's a little Eevee! Oh, we finally found an Eevee in this game! Oh. Hello! Ow! Did you hurt your back? Ah, customer, sorry I had to see me like this. I promise this month's batch of bamboo charcoal is in much better shape than my back is. Oh no, please stay where you are. I'm, well, take a look at this. 
Mm, a detective, eh? Not just a detect. Sorry, sorry. Force of habit. Yes, I'm here to investigate the berserk Pokemon. I'd like to take a look around the bamboo forest if you don't mind. I wouldn't cause any trouble. The gate to the bamboo forest is locked. We can't let any berserk Pokemon into this area. The gate's staying closed for public safety. You hear? I don't care if you want to investigate. I ain't budget on this. All right, all right. Can I at least ask you a few questions then? Look at you with your detective notebook and all. What do you want to know? I heard this area is famous for its bamboo forest and bamboo charcoal. Yep, right you are. Bamboo charcoal's got antibacterial and deodorizing properties, so it can improve the quality of water and soil too. Wonderful product, really. Just put it in a room and it makes everything better. No wonder it's famous. Yeah, my little customers are thankful for that. If only I could make more. Do you make the charcoal all by yourself? Pretty much. I reckon I, reckon I should start looking for an apprentice. Say, you wouldn't happen to know any promising young upstarts who might be interested? Well, I have a son and a daughter, and they sure seem promising to me. I'm not too sure they're too interested in a career in making charcoal, though. Yep, best to let your children choose their own paths in life. Thanks all the same. I'm sure I'll find an apprentice yet. About the Berserk Pokemon. The Berserk Pokemon. Reckon it's, it showed up about a week ago. Never seen it myself, but I've heard it making a noise and causing all kinds of ruckus. Three days ago, I went to the charcoal kill and found it wrecked up something fierce. That berserk Pokemon might have done it. Interesting. Was there anything else unusual about the area? No, just a wrecked kiln. Nothing seemed to be stolen. I tried to clean it up and that's when I hurt my back. I haven't been back to the, the bamboo forest since. That's probably for the best. You should take it easy and leave the cleanup to the other folks here. Once my back's straightened out, I'm getting back to work like you wouldn't believe. I'll be making trips to the bamboo forest too, of course. I ain't letting some berserk Pokemon scare me out of running my, my bamboo charcoal shop. Heh, <laughs> I like your spirit. Sounds like I should pay that that wrecked charcoal kill on a visit. About the bamboo forest. Now then. So about the gate. I told you, I ain't open it. Detective or otherwise. No one's allowed in. It's too dangerous. What if you run into the berserk Pokemon? I ain't opening the gate, and I ain't giving you the key either. Ah, my back! All right, all right, I hear you. Now then. What should I do? Oh, now shit. Then. We're doing notebook stuff with Harry? I've got to borrow the key to the gate in order to get into the bamboo forest. Problem is, Master of the Charcoal Shop's got that key, and he's a real stubborn piece of work. He's not just going to give it to me if I tell him I need it for my investigation. No, I need a reason to enter the bamboo forest that'll actually convince him to give me the key. I just need info, any kind really, something to point me in the right direction. Maybe the people around here know something. Hmm. Let me think this through. Based on all the info I've gathered, how can I convince the master of the charcoal shops to let me the key? You want to investigate the charcoal kiln? Hmm. No, okay. I gotta actually talk to people, okay. Hello? Yes. Hi there, thanks for stopping by. Oh, Harry. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Agreed. You're uh, a lot livelier than the last time I saw you. But of course, I'm here at the pizzeria. Good pizza starts with good entry. That's my motto. So, how about some pizza for lunch? Sounds great. I'd love a slice. But before that, can I ask you a few questions? I'm happy to help you with your detective work in whatever way I can. About Bamboo Burrow. The Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria in is this neighborhood's most delicious attraction. Our pizza is baked to perfection with an aroma to match. Okay. That sounds delicious. I'm sure it goes well with coffee, too. Absolutely. Please try some for yourself. I can picture it now. Enjoying a slice of pizza and a steaming cup of coffee while a breeze rolls through the bamboo forest. I can see why your pizza shop is so popular. Right? Oh, by the way, this is a pizzeria, not a pizza shop. Is there a difference? Trust me, there's a difference. Is there a difference? I'm Googling it. Hang on. There's not really a difference. It says there's no difference. It just says pizzeria is another word for a pizza restaurant or a pizza parlor. So it's the same thing. About the Berserk Pokemon. The day the bamboo forest got closed off, I saw some small Pokemon sumo wrestling. Small Pokemon sumo wrestling? Were they Munchlaxes? Sumo wrestling? Now that's a rare sight. Could they have been the same Pokemon that went berserk? No, there's no way. It's not impossible though. Did you notice anything else? Well, I heard some Pokemon cries and noises, but I never actually saw them. Can't really give you many concrete details, I'm afraid. I see. Thanks. Small Pokemon sumo wrestling, huh? About the bamboo forest. Grief. The closure of the bamboo forest must have caused you a lot of trouble. How are you holding up? Well, I need bamboo charcoal to run my pizzeria. 
Though if the bamboo forest stays closed for too long, I won't be able to make my famous pizza. Hope this all gets resolved soon so I can start making charcoal runs again. Me too. I'll do my best to help you out. Alright, uh... Nope. Hello? Welcome, how about a souvenir to remember your trip? Okay. Sure, I'll take a look. Well, there's a lot of stuff here. Bet you do great business. I'm quite proud of my selection, yes, though it might not make much difference soon. Why is that? The bizarre Pokemon, of course. I'm worried customers will stop coming here if the situation keeps getting worse. That's bad news for a business in a tourist area. I'm actually here to investigate the Berserk Pokemon. I'm a detective. Oh really? That's a relief. I'd love to help you out with your investigation. About Bamboo Burrow. Bamboo Burrow is a wonderful place. The, the people in Pokemon here are all terrifically kind. Hmm. I wonder if the lush scenery and the fresh air have anything to do with that. I'd love to come here one day just to sightsee. Hard to enjoy it properly while I'm working a case. Please do. Make sure to stop by here again, too. About the Berserk Pokemon. The Berserk Pokemon appeared in the Bamboo Forest rather recently. There were crackling noises coming from the Bamboo Forest. And then I heard a Pokemon go, ROAR! Right after that, some people come, came running out of the Bamboo Forest. They said they saw a shadow with red eyes going Berserk and deep in the forest. Hmm. hmm. Deep in the Bamboo Forest, huh? Do you think I could, I could talk to those people? I believe they were all tourists, so I'm afraid they're all gone. I see, that's too bad. I really wish I could talk to more witnesses about this. About the bamboo forest. I was actually in the bamboo forest yesterday to access the storage area. Thankfully, I didn't encounter any berserk Pokemon, but a bunch of bamboo stalks were broken and the paths were ruined. <sighs> it was devastating. I can imagine that wasn't a pleasant sight. Still, I'm glad you're okay. By the way, why does a souvenir shop clerk like you need to go into the forest? The master of the charcoal shop hurt his back three days ago, so I went in to get his supplies for him. Luckily, the storage area was undamaged. It was just the elevator that was broken. Oh, did the berserk Pokemon do that too? No, it happens quite often. The boss always fixes it. Ah, please don't tell the charcoal shop master about the broken elevator. If he finds out, he'll insist that he fixed it himself despite his injured back. Huh. Hey, me, we need to fix it. Gotcha. My lips are sealed. Hmm, sounds like that elevator is important to the master of the charcoal shop. Okay. Thanks for your help. Leaving already, detective? Surely you need a few more souvenirs. Ah, you're a good salesman, aren't you? I actually have just a thing for you. Oh! A little detective hat! Is that how we, uh, the Pikachu got his actual hat from here? It's a hat. How about one for your kids? Oh, hey, kids said detective hat. Good call. Great detective tip number 13. Always make sure to look your better, very best. This would probably fit Sophia's head better than Tim's. Okay, I'll take this. As for Tim, I'll get him this water bottle. Thank you very much. I'll wrap these up for you. Thanks. I hope you like their gifts. Alright, I better sell this kiss before Sophia grows out of this hat. Time to start deducing. Okay, yeah, we gotta use the actual uh, uh, thing that the shop owner said about the elevator. Offer to repair the elevator! Whenever the elevator is on the fritz, the old charcoal shop master will bend over backward to fix it, which can't be good for that injured back of his. That's what the souvenir shop owner said, more or less. Which goes to show that the elevator is extremely important to him. Maybe if I tell the master of the charcoal shop that I'll fix the elevator, he'll agree to lend me the key. Okay, I'll go negotiate with him. I still have a Pikachu stamp. Okay. Alright, I'll go see the master of the charcoal shop and convince him to let me borrow the key. I sure hope he's open to being convinced. Hey there, do you have a minute? Oh, it's you again. I'm still not hanging in over the key. I know, I'm actually here to talk about the elevator in the storage room. I hear it breaks down a lot. Sure does, and I'm always the one who's gotta fix it. Wait, I ain't gone and broke itself again, has it? Keep me in the dark game, will they? Why I oughta- Ugh, my back! Easy there, they didn't tell you because they all want you to rest. Now, how do you usually fix it? Oh. I just give it a few whacks with some bamboo. It, it's like playing the drums. Seriously? No wonder the elevator keeps breaking. Your back's never gonna heal if you keep that up. I'll go fix the elevator. An amateur like you want to know the first thing about fixing elevators. Stay out of it. Hey, I might not seem like it, but I'm actually pretty good with machines. I even fix my own car when it needs to work. Is that right? Hmm. You sure you can fix it? I'll at least do better than hitting it with bamboo. What do you say? Mm, fine, take the key. I'd rather s suffer my back than you right now, anyway. I figure you'll do some investigating while you're in the bamboo forest. Uh, you meet with any danger in there, you better run for it. Hear me? Sure thing. Thanks. Alright, let's go! 
To the bamboo forest! Now let's see what this berserk Pokemon is. Oh? What was that? Okay. Just gonna put the key in here and huh. The gate is surprisingly heavy. Alright, it's open. Alright, what's this Pokemon we gotta deal with? Oh wow, there is a lot of destruction here. Hmm. It's so quiet here. Not even the slightest sign of a Pokemon. Alright, let's see what I can find. Uh, there's some tracks here. Whoa, didn't expect to find something so soon. Hmm. I'll conduct a thorough investigation of the scene so I can figure out what exactly happened here. Okay. Berserk Pokemon came all the way here, huh? The old charcoal master was right to lock the gate. Okay, let's see where, what I can find. Okay. These footprints paint a clear picture of what went down here. Gotta make sure not to miss anything. There's big footprints here, and there's tiny ones too. Hmm. Pokemon footprints, big ones and small ones. Living by the death of the big ones, the Pokemon that planted them must be very really heavy. Looks like the bigger footprints kept going straight down this path. As for the smaller footprints, there are a lot of them, strangely enough. Maybe because there's more than one uh, Pokemon? Looks like they round the corner up ahead and, and continue towards a side path. Uh, what's this? Hmm. I see scorches on the ground, a big one and a small one. Oh, maybe the, uh, the, the Berserk Pokemon is a fire Pokemon. The nearby grass and bamboo don't look burned, though, so it doesn't seem like there was a fire. Maybe the Scorchers was made by an Electric-type move. Oh, or an Electric-type uh, Pokemon, true. Broken bamboo stalks. Looks like they all broke at once. Based on the coloration of the cross sections, this likely happened this morning. You need a lot of force to scratch marks that deep. Could they have been made by some machine? No, maybe a Pokemon's claw? I still don't know what we're dealing with though. That's all there is to be seen here. Time to start deducing. Okay. Okay, I'll start going over the information I've gathered and try to de uh, deduce what happened here. Uh, person carrying bamboo, charcoal spilled some of it, bad weather caused lightning. Pokemon battled each other! I see. First, the different size sets of footprints tell me that there is a big Pokemon and a small Pokemon. Judging by how these footprints were formed, the two definitely encountered each other here. Next, the scorches on the ground. Those were likely caused by Pokemon using an electric type move. Based on the evidence, some Pokemon definitely got into a scrap with each other. With all that said, and uh, if I follow both sets of footprints, I should be able to find the Berserk Pokemon. Mm. If I follow the footprints of those two Pokemon, I should be able to get some clarity on what went down here. I just hope it'll lead me to the Berserk Pokemon. You know what I'm thinking? I'm like wondering why like Pikachu is in here. Maybe uh, this is how Harry met Pikachu. Like a big Pokemon fighting a small Pokemon, and there's an electric scorch here, and he bought that hat. So maybe the big Pokemon was fighting Pikachu, and the electric scorch was when he used an electric type move. But I don't know, that's just me. Could be wrong. Huh? <gasps> a Pancham! Oh, maybe I was actually wrong. Hey, you okay? <gasps> Pikachu! Wait, I was right? Is he protecting the Pancham? Easy, easy. I'm not gonna try anything. You're protecting your friend, aren't you? Whoa! Sorry, sorry. He protect, but more importantly, he attack. I guess there were two footprints that made the smaller footprints. Looks like Pancham's injured too. I'm going to take a look and try to take off that Pikachu even more while I'm at it. Well done. I won't hurt you. I'm just gonna take a look. Hmm. 
Seems like it can't move uh, its arms and legs too well. Maybe it's paralyzed? Mm. Panchen looks exhausted and it's injured too. It must be feeling pretty lousy. Those small footprints I saw earlier must have been Panchen and Pikachu's. They were probably attacked by a big Pokemon. Pancha! Okay. Mm. Pikachu is protecting Panchan. It looks pretty worked up. Guess it doesn't like humans. That's right. It would make sense if the scorch marks I saw on the ground earlier were caused by this Pikachu using the electric type move. Pika Pika! Okay. Okay, I have a good sense of what's going on with these Pokemon now. Panchan's low on energy and paralyzed too. It's in worse shape than I thought. What can I use to treat Pan Cham's injury? I might find something if I search around town. I just need to keep looking until I find something. Hang in there, Pan Cham. Help is on the way. Okay, I'll be right back. Wouldn't it be funny if the Pangoro that we saw in the prison turned out to be the Pan Cham from, like, the past? That'd be kind of cute. About the Pikachu. Apparently a Pikachu recently started living in the bamboo forest. As an electric-type Pokemon in a place full of grass and bug-type Pokemon, it really stands out. I mean, then again, Pancham is a fighting type. I think it's also dark, but I think that's just Pangoro. I just hope it hasn't run into any Berserk Pokemon. Hmm. I actually encountered that Pikachu earlier. It seemed pretty wary of uh, people. Oh yeah, I'm glad to hear it's okay. Wait, does that mean you managed to borrow the key from the Charcoal Shop Master? Sure did. Something that could heal Pancham. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? I came across an injured Pancham and it's in pretty rough shape. Oh no, an injured Pancham? Hmm, first and foremost, it needs to get its strength back. I know, take this. Wait, a whole pizza? That's right, it's made with healthy herbs. Huh, alright. Seems legit. That pancho will be back to full strength in no time once it has a full uh, belly of this. Oh, I see. Well, thanks. Uh, yeah. I guess pizza's the answer to everything. Pika, pika! Pancho will be safe with Pikachu. I'll go look for something that can heal it. Wait, I have something! I have something! The pizza! Oh, okay, I just gotta put it in. Okay. Alright, I found something that might help. I gotta evaluate which of them will work best for Pancham. I mean, I could use, choose something at random and see what happens, but Pancham's in pretty rough shape. I probably shouldn't overwhelm it with stuff that might not work. I'll choose something I know will make it feel better. The pizza? No. Okay, so pizza's not the answer to everything. Gotcha. Hey, what do you want to know about Pikachu? Mm. The Pikachu, eh? It's new to the area. Only started seeing it around recently. Seems like a prickly sort of, if you ask me. It, uh, you'd best not bother it too much. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. It said it's ground to protect an injured Panjam. Got the little Pokemon, eh? That's worth your praise in my book. Something that could heal Panjam. No, do you have any sort of medicine by chance? Are you hurt? I warned you about going in there. Nah, it's not for me. There's an injured Panjam that needs some help. I see. Hmm, let me think. How about this bag of ice? I reckon you could use it to ice its wound. Hmm, that could work. Hmm, that's not a bad idea. Thanks. Uh, I'll ask the shop owner too, just in case. Because ice could work. Hello? Oh, welcome. Oh, herbal remedy! Sorry, but we don't have much in stock right now. An herbal remedy shop with no herbal remedies, so just a shop then. We sold through most of our inventory. The owner left to get more ingredients, but he's still not back. Guess I caught you at a bad time. Eh, not really. I'm just holding down the fort here, so I've got plenty of time to talk. In that case, could I ask you a few questions? Oh, is this your card? Let's see here. A detective? Wow, you don't meet one of those every day. Ask away. I guess I'll answer whatever I can. I'm pretty bored right now anyway, so this is perfect. Ask me whatever you want. About the Berserk Pokemon. Apparently there is a Pokemon going Berserk in the Bamboo Forest. that causes all sorts of trouble. I wonder if it was just in a bad mood. Maybe I'll give it some herbal medicine if we run into each other. Love where your head's at, but that'd be pretty dangerous. Better steer clear. Still, I wonder if herbal medicine works on Pokemon too. Of course it does. Herbal medicine is amazing. It can bring relief to just about any ailment. I take some every day, which is why I'm always uh, full of energy. Haha. <laughs> well, that's one mystery solved. This this would be the type of lady to try that uh, that jelly juice if y'all remember what that is. Like, it was, like, some, like, juice made of, like, fermented cabbage that some lady made. And apparently, like, she said that it can cure everything, including, like, lost limbs and and homosexuality. Like, like she went on Dr. Phil and then, uh, Cutie Pie covered it in a video. But it was, like, 
It was so weird. It was so bizarre that people, like, fell for it. And, like, there's, like, many people have said that, oh, if you take, like, fermented cabbage, like, just like that, like, nothing but that, like, it's gonna, like, eventually, like, kill you because it's, like, there's, like, so much salt and sodium. Like, it's just, ugh. I don't know how people can be so stupid sometimes. About the bamboo forest. There are all kinds of ingredients for herbal medicine in the bamboo forest. Plants, mushrooms, even shed Pokemon skin. Hmm. The bamboo forest is closed off right now, though. Is that why the owner's away? Yeah, he had to go somewhere far off to find the ingredients he needs. Good guess. Sounds like a hassle. I think I could heal Pancham. Hmm. Could you help me out with something? What's up? We only have herbal medicine here. And that's exactly what I need. There's an injured Pancham that could use some attention. It's very weak, and I think it's paralyzed, too. You know, I think I just the thing. It should be right... Here, this heal powder should cure its paralysis. Oh, perfect. Perfect, thanks a million. I wanted to give you an energy root too, but I think we're out, sorry about that. They work wonders for restoring strength. No worries at all, heal powder on its own will be a huge help. Oh, wait, I want the energy root. So about the energy root, do you know where I can find one? I'd like to track one down myself if possible, so I'd appreciate any bit of info you can offer. Or assuming there aren't trade secrets or anything. Sorry, I'm not really supposed to share that kind of stuff. Yeah, I figured. Guess it was worth a shot. The owner's son always goes out to the bamboo forest to collect energy roots. He's got a real knack for finding him, but he won't tell us adults how he does it. The owner just leaves the job to his son at this point. Oh, is he the young boy? He won't share his tips with any of the adults, huh? Interesting. Where is he now? He used to collect rocks in the bamboo forest before it was closed off. Now I think he just plays around here. Thanks, I'll go see if I can find him. Yeah, it was you, right? Hmm. Hey kiddo, I heard your dad owns the herbal remedy shop. You visited our shop, huh? Buy anything good? Yeah, I got some heal powder. They're out of energy roots, though. Oh, energy roots. There's a trick to finding those. So I've heard. Could you give me some pointers? I need to find one to help an injured Pokemon. Um, so you go inside the bamboo forest, right? And then the energy roots are... The energy roots are... Where? I don't know. Should I really share my secret? It's kind of cool being the only one who can find them. How about this? I'll tell you if you can get me an oval stone. Agreed. Really, kid? You're gonna play hardball with me? <sighs> Fine, I'll get you an oval stone. Where does one find an oval stone, anyway? Happini has them. If you see a bush moving in the bamboo forest, sometimes a happini will come out. Bush in the bamboo forest, huh? Okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Alright, let's go. Oh! Fungus! Hey, guys! Did you know that Fungus can evolve into a Pokemon called Amoongus, which awfully sounds like the hit game Among Us? <gasps> oh, there's a Kobe back there! Oh, wait, there's a moving bush. Hmm. Does something just move? Happy Me? <laughs> Shiftry! Guardian of the Bamboo Forest. Shift! Oh, just a Shiftry. Scared me, pal. Maybe I scared it. Shift, shift! Hey, my bad. I'll be careful next time. Hello? Hmm. I think I heard something just now. Happy me! Hop, hop! It's a happy me. That thing you're holding is an oval stone, right? Not an egg? Hop, hop! Oh, are you giving it to me? Thanks. You're one generous Pokemon. Aw, little sweetheart. Here's your oval stone. Do you have an oval stone? Hmm. Is this what you're looking for? Yeah, that's it. Let's consider it a symbol of our friendship. Take good care of it, okay? I will, thank you. I'll tell you my secret to find the energy roots now. Behold! A berry? Yep, a nanad berry. It's Bunnelby's favorite. If you see a hole in the ground, try holding one of these near it. Oh yeah, I did see a hole earlier where Happini was. Bunnelby will smell the berry and come out. Once it does, look inside the hole. That's where the energy roots are, huh? Alright, I'll give it a shot. Thanks. Good luck, mister. Hope you can help that injured Pokemon. Hole in the ground. Is this it? If this works, Bottle Bleach should come out. Eh, what's up, Doc? Shoveler Extraordinaire. Aw, oh, that's cute. Bottle! Well, it scared me. It popped out before I could even take out the Nanad Berry. Bun bun! Hey, don't go shoving your ear in my pocket. What? Fun! You took one to nab or Oh, well, I guess it was meant for you anyway. You take that and I'll take a look in this hole. 
pretty deep. Hmm? Something in here. One, two, three. Whoa, look at the shape. This is definitely an energy root. All right. Time to start deducing. Okay. I've done some things that might help. I gotta evaluate which of them will work best for Pancham. I mean, I could also just choose something at random and see what happens. Okay, yeah, I already been through this. These two. Hmm. Pancham's low in energy and paralyzed. The obvious answer for treating those two things is an energy root and heal powder. I'll bring them to Pancham right away. All right, let's go. Okay. All right, I've got all the medicine I need to heal Pancham. Let's go. Oh wait. Oh, it's a beetle. A baby. Oh, it's, it's, it's want to kick it into the river right now. It looks very puntable right now, but oh, it's so cute. All right, I'm here to cure. Okay. Sorry for the wait. I brought you some medicine. Pika, Pika. Nice job keeping Pancham safe, Pikachu. Look, I swear, I'm just trying to help your friend. That's all. Okay. Pikachu just looks so pissed and angry. I love it. For a second, you'll feel better after you eat this. <laughs> Tastes bad, huh? That's how you know it's working. It's true, like with Nyquil. He's all better now! Yippee! Seems like you're doing a lot better. Now, question is, who would do such a thing to pinch him? Oh shit. That cry. I could not tell what Pokemon that was. Pokemon sound. Sounds like it came from the far end of the forest. Am I finally gonna meet this berserk Pokemon? Is it a Layron? Oh, hoot hoot! Arrives exactly on time. I don't think time is of the importance right now. It must be this way. Because it lay, maybe it's a lay rod. Hmm. That hoot hoot looked pretty panicked, but I bet it saw something terrifying. Probably saw the same thing I'm looking for. That berserk Pokemon. The berserk Pokemon must be near where that hoot hoot was. I'll well, investigate the area and I'll figure out how I can get there. Hmm. I'll check out this area and I'll see if I can get to the other side. Let's see. Hmm. These footprints are the same ones as the one by the entrance. It's safe to assume that they are made by the berserk Pokemon. It'll be difficult to follow these footprints with so many bamboo stalks this way. Hmm. These bamboo stalks are broken in the same way as the ones by the entrance. The uh, breaks seem pretty fresh too. So many fallen bamboo stalks blocking the way, I don't think there is any space for me to get through. Okay. I think that's all there is to see here. Now that I'm getting a proper look, this is quite the sight. Mm. Doesn't seem like there's much to see here, but you never know till you look. I'll go ahead and investigate. Mm. This looks like it used to be a path up the hill, but it's been completely eroded. I'm not sure if this boulder fell naturally or the berserk Pokemon knocked it loose, but either way, I'm glad no one was hurt. This huge boulder must have broken apart when it fell down here. Now it's more like a, cl a cliff face. I mean, I could climb over it easily. Hmm, this boulder's pretty tough. I don't think I'll break. Uh, it'll break apart any further. Okay. I think that's all there's to see here. Okay, time to figure this out. Uh. By clearing the fallen bamboo. Uh. By climbing the big boulder. By jumping into Bottleby's burrow, the, the boulder. Yeah, it's not that hard of a climb. The boulder crushed the path leading up the hill, but the path should still continue at the top of the hill. If I climb the boulder, I should be able to get to that path and make my way to the berserk Pokemon. It was not that hard. Okay. If I climb the boulder, I should find the path. Getting back down might be tough though. Then I'll figure that out later. Time to get climbing. Yeah, it's a problem for future Huey. Or I guess future Harry in this in this case. Alright then. Just a little climb. 
It's not gonna be much of a big deal, like, getting down too. Like, you'll be fine. You'll live. Just a bit more to go. Must be from that mine. Good grief. It's been a while since I did something like this. I'm definitely out of shape. There's that path. It's not a leaving closer to the Berserk Pokemon. If this is the entrance to the storage area, if so, I need to fix the elevator in there. First, I gotta find the Berserk Pokemon. Okay, so he's not in there. Gotcha, so it's down Who here then. Let oh! <gasps> oh, it's him! That guy! It's that guy! I think his name was Keith from the last game. It's Keith, man! Didn't think we'd see him again. But yeah, it is a Lairon. The Pikachu. Wait, hold on. Who's there? The little guy. Oh boy. Excuse me. What are you doing here? Who us? Just gathering bamboo shoots. Yeah. Okay. Bat. It sure doesn't look that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I shut him up. Let's go! Pocket R! Oh, the poor baby, though. Pikachu, this way! Oh, he wants blood. This Pikachu wants blood. Oh, not the bamboo. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, it's quick time event time. It's quick event time. Run, bitch! Run! This way! Oh, they're gonna get caved in, aren't they? They're fucking dead. Oh, I'm awake. Pikachu. Pikachu, wake up. <laughs> You're awake. Ah, oh, yeah. Tim? Huh, guess I fell asleep. Hey, Pikachu, this isn't the first time that's happened. Maybe you should get yourself checked out. Whoa, whoa, I dozed off for a bit, and you're acting like I'm about to keel over something. That's not what I meant, but okay, sorry. It's fine. Anyway, I just remembered. I've been here before, a long time ago. Huh? What do you mean? You just remember this place? What do you remember, Pikachu? I came all the way to Bamboo Burrow after hearing about the Berserk Pokemon. While I was here, I borrowed a gatekeep from the Charcoal Shopmaster. I battled a Lairon and, uh... Oh, yeah. The Bamboo Forces is also where Harry and I first met. Take me back. You borrowed a key and met my dad. Hey, did something happen to Pikachu? He fainted earlier, but now he's acting like nothing's wrong. Er, yeah, he's fine, I think. Who, me? Never been better. I've got a few more questions. You borrowed a key to the gate? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you borrowed a key to the gate? I came to the sound because I heard that a Pokemon had gone berserk in the Bamboo Forest. But I couldn't get into the forest to investigate like I wanted because the gate was locked. The charcoal shop master had the key, but man was he stubborn. Getting him to lend it to me was no small feat. Mm-hmm. You borrowed the key from the charcoal shop master. Yeah, in exchange for fixing the elevator. I guess you don't need a key to open this gate, but hmm. You battled a Lairon. Mm -hmm. Did you really battle a Lairon last time you were here? Yep. Battled it twice in the bamboo forest. Once when I saved Pantam, and then again when I saved Harry. That Lairon did not know when to quit. It just kept coming at us, but I hit it with my Electro-type moves. Electro-type moves that you can't use. Pikachu used his Electro-type moves? Maybe he could still use them back then? You met Dad here? Mm -hmm. So, about the first time you met Dad. That was back when I was investigating the bamboo forest. I found some footprints. And then I crossed the river to get into the bamboo forest and wound up living there for a while. When I saw Harry, I jumped out because I thought he was dangerous. Hmm, I get that's where you two met, but huh. 
I'm not quite sure I can make sense of your story. Seems like a lot happened when Pikachu and Dad first met. But some of these pieces aren't fitting together. I'll have to organize all this information. Something about Pikachu's story doesn't add up. I wonder if he's mixing up his dreams with reality. He's probably got mad if I suggested that, though. I gotta clarify some things to him after he settles down. For now, I'll go over what Pikachu said and try to figure out which part of the story doesn't add up. Can I begin deducing? Oh. Pikachu's story seems to contradict itself. Let me think this through and figure out which part of the story doesn't add up. The key thing, right? Because there's no way he would have been able to do that. If I remember correctly, Pikachu said he met Dad in the bamboo forest. Since Pikachu entered the bamboo forest by crossing a river, Dad had to have been the one who used the key to open the gate. When you hear the story from Dad, got the details mixed up, and you think he's the one who got the key? Okay. Are you sure you're alright, Pikachu? Shouldn't you stay behind and get some rest? You worry too much, Tim. Let's help Jessica first and then ask questions later. As long as we stick with Jessica, we'll be able to protect her if those people who are after her decide to show up. Good call. Alright, Pikachu, let's go. Yeah. To the forest! <laughs> well then, let's head inside the bamboo forest. Oh wow, energy roots. Yes. I want to gather ingredients for our daily specials first. Would that be alright? Yeah, on the hunt for pizza ingredients. Sounds exciting. Our pizza is made from the ingredients found in the bamboo forest. The manager takes the freshness of our product very seriously. Bamboo Bro is just full of folks who are dedicated to their craft. So Tim and Pikachu, could you help me find an herb and an egg? Sure thing. Rachel and I will go back for mushrooms and- Huh? What's wrong? Look Rachel, an energy root, and it's big! Oh? Why do you sound so excited? Because they're really hard to find. I usually have to ask the herbal remedy shop for them. I guess this one got pushed by this boulder and popped out. Could you give me a hand, Rachel? Must be pretty rare to find it if just because this fired up about it. In that case, we can go look for the mushrooms too. Thank you, Tim. They might not find any. Not only are they out of season, but mushroom picking is very popular right now. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, Pikachu, let's go. So we just gotta find an herb, an egg, and some mushrooms, right? Perfect chance for this great detective to flex his searching muscles. All right, let's go. What? Hey, Tim. I don't know if it's the ambiance or the smell of bamboo, but just being here is making me feel really calm and relaxed. You don't look calm and relaxed. I wonder why. Probably because you used to live here. Anything here we could use? Oh! Mm -hmm. Something about this place feels familiar. Yeah, this is where he protected the pan sham. Did you find something, Pikachu? Eh, it's probably nothing. You sure you're okay, Pikachu? Do you want to rest? Nah, don't worry about me. Looks like there isn't anything for us to find here. Alright. <gasps> I almost talked to you, but you had a quest for me, and I don't want to do that, so bye. Fungus! Hmm? Pikachu, this thing looks awfully familiar. What is it? Oh, that is what we call a Fungus, which evolves into a Moongus, which sounds like the hit game among- Whoa, it's a Fungus! <laughs> I think we got a fungus. Oh, no, no, Among Us, Among Us, says Imposter Ben, Wee Woo, Wee Woo, Among Us, Among Us reference right there. God, what the fuck is wrong with me? What's with that look, Tim? Running out whatever pops into my head is how I keep my mind sharp as attack. Honey, that's just called being autistic. Really? You think having a filter keeps your mind sharp? You know, if you just loosen up a bit, you'd be that much closer to being a great detective like me. Boon? Look, now you've gotten confused it. Sorry, sorry. Okay, Fungus, let's chat. Foom, foom! About the bamboo forest. Hey. We're looking for mushrooms. Any idea where we can find some? Foom! Oh, mushrooms are in short supply this time of the year. Foom, foom! But its friend Paris might know where to get some. Paris? Okay, thanks. We'll go ask it. About Jessica. Fungus. It says it sees Jessica all the time, and she's always been kind to the Pokemon around here. Sounds like Fungus thinks very highly of her. Alright, let's go talk to Paris. And not the mod in my chat. <gasps> oh! I guess that Hoot Hoot evolved into a Noctowl. Yo, I forgot I can do that. Knock, knock! Who's there? At... 
I'll go home. This bookmark keeps staring at us. Menacingly! Looks like it's on the lookout for suspicious activity. Is there anything in the bush? It looks like it's swaying, which means that there must be a Pokemon inside. Is it Shift Tree again? It is Shift Tree! Shift! It's a Shift Tree! I knew they live in wooded areas, but I didn't know that includes bamboo forests. Looks like the Shift Tree is holding something. Let's see what it has to say. Hey Shift Tree, we're looking for some pizza ingredients. Shift! We're not the human who normally comes to see you, but you'll give it to us anyway? I wonder if that human is Jessica. It's an herb! Hmm, smells so good. Thanks, Shift Tree. What a helpful guy! Uh, let's see if he knows anything else. He's asking how the human who normally comes to visit is doing. Just as I thought, it must know Jessica. Shift! She comes here a lot to collect herbs, so it's always share some with her. Aw, helpful guy! How about we ask her some questions? About the bamboo forest. <clears throat> it says the bamboo forest felt empty and lonely back when the berserk Pokemon appeared. I must be referring to the incident two years back. Seeing the bamboo forest now, it's hard to imagine it was such a bleak place. Yeah, the people in Pokemon seem plenty happy to be here now. Shift? Yeah, I'm thinking that sounds pretty- wait, what? Shiftry, do you just use your special powers to read my mind? What's wrong, Pikachu? What does Shiftry say? It asked if I was gonna lie down and take a nap here. Shiftry must have been reading my mind. Doesn't, uh, take a mind reader to guess that that's what you're thinking. Doesn't this peaceful setting make you want to doze off too? Let's both take a nap after we wrap up here. Hey, we didn't come here to relax. About Jessica. <clears throat> Apparently Jessica collects pizza ingredients whenever she comes to the bamboo forest. I guess she really is a hard worker. Shift. Jessica treats the Pokemon of the bamboo forest with respect uh, because she believes everyone here, humans and Pokemon, should live in harmony. So Shift Tree shows its appreciation by giving her herbs. Living in harmony, huh? Again, what a nice guy. Also, I was gonna talk to that guy, but thank God I did not, because I did not want to deal with any quests. <gasps> Baby Q! <gasps> oh, oh, it's a quest. Oh, I, I would love to talk to you, Mimi Q, but I really do not want to do quests right now. Just one. I'll do one quest for you. You're going to be popular someday, but you are. You're my favorite Pokemon. Well, one of my favorite ghost-type Pokemon. Kiki. Kiki. What's got you looking so down to dumps? You take a talk to the face or something? Is something wrong with it? Kiki. Kiki. It was taking a walk around the storage area at the far end of the bamboo forest. Then suddenly an unfamiliar Pokemon rushed out and tried to attack it. Oh man, is it okay? It escaped right away, so it wasn't her. But its disguise got busted. Kiki. Kiki. Fortunately, its disguise is super difficult to fix, and that's why it's feeling so crestfallen. Oh god, this is going to be a difficult task, isn't it? That's so sad. Is there anything we can do to help? Kiki. It says a mirror would help. Okay, uh, we'll go look for a mirror, so just wait here. Uh, a mirror. Can't it just look into the river? Oh, this is the nadberry tree. I guess uh, Bunnelby planted it with all the nadberries. There's some berries growing on this tree. These are in the nad berries. How strange that there's a nad berry tree in the forest full of bamboo. Someone must have planted a nad berry here. What do we have thing to do? Yeah, it must have been Bunnelby. Hello. Mm -hmm. Something's moving in this bush. Let's take a look. <gasps> the hat beanie evolved into a chancy. Aww. Hey, it's a chancy. Chancy. Don't you think the egg is holding would make a perfect pizza ingredient? Yeah, I'm sure Jessica would be thrilled if we brought her one of Chansey's eggs. Chansey, Chansey! It says it'll give us one. Aren't you glad uh, we chanced upon a Chansey? <sighs> chanced upon a Chansey. Pikachu, that's one of the worst dad jokes I've ever heard. I wonder why he knows so many dad jokes. <laughs> hey, for once, the pun was not intended. I still want to talk to the Chansey. Chance, Chansey. Says that the egg should just be what Jessica's looking for. So knows Jessica? Chansey! Yep, they say they see each other in the forest all the time. In that case, me and we can ask them some questions. About the bamboo forest. Chansey, Chansey! It says that the Pokemon like to come to the bamboo forest because of its abundant nature. The water and air here are so fresh and clean, it never wants to leave this place. Sounds like a comfortable home for these Pokemon. Yep, must be the same for Jessica too. 
about Jessica. Chauncey! Jessica's a hard worker who likes to put others first. Yeah, that tracks. Chancy, Chancy. Couldn't agree more. Chancy sounds like uh someone like Jessica does deserve to be happy. I think I understand that feeling. Me too. If you work hard, you deserve all the great things to come with it. The Pokemon here is so nice. You just gotta find some mushrooms. Actually, uh, do you have any mirrors? Probably a folding one, if possible. We have some hand mirrors, but nothing folding. Oh, thanks anyway. Real shame though. I was really hoping to help Mimikyu with disguise. Mimikyu, you say? If you don't mind, uh, may I ask why you're looking for a mirror? Well, you see. Ah, now I understand the situation. Feel free to borrow the shop display mirror. Are you sure that's alright? Certainly. I'll ask Mimikyu for it back later. Thank you. Let's take it to Mimikyu right away. Alright, let's go. Thanks for waiting, Mimikyu. Would this mirror work for you? Thank you. Like a charm, it says, but it's too embarrassed to fix this disguise in front of us. Then we'll turn around and keep our backs to you. Just let us know when you're done. Q. And now we wait. There we go. It's all good. Q -Q. Oh, look, it's all fixed up. I'm glad you're okay now, Mimikyu. Q. Nice. Alright, now we gotta look for some mushrooms somewhere. I don't care if this is a blue quest, I am helping this puppy. <gasps> I don't care if this is a blue quest and I said I'm never gonna do them. If it's with a Pokemon I love, I'm gonna help it. Oh, especially when it changes its tail like that. Oh, it's a yamper. Generates electricity with the zoomies. Oh, yep. This yamper sounds a little low energy. Maybe it's upset about something? Let's ask. A yamper, something wrong? Yep, yep. What? You're hungry so you can't move? Then why not rustle up something to eat in the bamboo forest? Yeah, that's plenty of food here. Yep. Oh, you're from the city, so the food here isn't suited for your taste. Kind of spoiled, huh? It probably was a sheltered life in the city. Hmm, what should we do? Guess we should go back to town and find something you'd like. Yep. You want something soft with melted cheese? Ugh, you're awfully picky. Alright, easy. You want pizza? Come on, let's go help and get a pizza. Oh, I did not expect to see Yamper there. Oh, I am such in a good mood. I mean, I was really happy when I saw Sylveon and an Eevee and a Mimikyu, and now I just see a Yamper. Uh, I'm not actually here for a pizza, but is there any chance I could buy some cheese? What an interesting question, Mom, if I ask why. There's a hungry Yamper in the bamboo forest. Then I might like some cheese from your pizzeria. Say no more, I'd love to help you out. Here you go. Well, that's a lot of cheese, thank you. Personally, I'd rather be serving it in a popping high pizza fresh out of the oven. But if cheese is what it craves, I'm happy to oblige. Right on, Tim. Let's take this to Yamper. This Yamper must have been owned by white people, because it, if it really loves cheese, then that's definitely the case. Here you go, Yamper. Yamper. Yeah. Yamper. Thanks for the waiting, Yamper. He's that cheese one so bad. Yamp! Easy there. There's plenty of cheese. I need to gobble it so fast. Yamp, yamp! Whoa! Yamper scarfed it all down in one go. Yamp! You've never tasted cheese this delicious? Glad to hear it. I'm sure the pizzeria's manager would be thankful for the positive review. Yeah. You want more? Don't be so gluttonous. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oh, there he goes. It ran full sprint back to town. Guess we're done here then. Lacey's no longer hungry. Oh! There's the Paris lady! Para, para. Come to think of it, Paris has mushrooms growing on its back. Uh, are those things edible? Pada, pada, padas! If we're looking for mushrooms, Paris says we're welcome to take some. Is that even safe? Pada, pada! Now those are some jumbo-sized mushrooms. Cause he had some tucked away for a rainy day. For a moment, I was worried he was going to give us the mushrooms off his back. Thanks, Paris. The pizzeria manager can't make his pizza without those mushrooms. Eh, <laughs> looks like my dear Paris gave you some mushrooms. They go quite nicely on pizza. You should try it. Thanks for the tip. Now I want some too. Let's go take get a slice, Paris. Must be one heck of a pie. Glad we could find the mushrooms for it. Perfect. 
Okay, we've got our ingredients. Let's bring them to Jessica. We found all the ingredients, Jessica. Oh, we found the mushrooms. Thanks, you two. Not bad. We got our energy root, too. Well, wow, that's one big root. Thank you, everyone. Sorry for all the trouble. I'm sure you came here to have fun. It's not a problem, and we did have fun. The Pokemon here are interesting to talk to. They're different from the ones in other parts of Brian City. Got to hear that. Why don't we rest a bit and then head to the charcoal kiln? Before we do that, Jessica, there's something I'd like to, you to look at. Oh, me? What do you want to show me? Jessica, do you remember when this photo was taken? Oh, yes. This brings back memories. We took that photo together to celebrate the beginning of our project. Excuse me. What project was that? Uh, that was about two years ago. Rhyme said he had formed a partnership with the lab I was working at. Oh, my lab. I mean, the Pokemon Unity Lab. Anyway, that's where we launched our project to create a better way for humans and Pokemon to coexist. The people in this photo were the project's key members at the time. You don't say. I remember now. Mama mentioned that uh, when the three of us were having dinner as a family. She was so happy when she announced that she and Papa were going to be working on a project together. I knew it was an exciting thing for them at the time, but I had no idea it was that big of a deal. Mama and I used to chat about Pokemon, but she never discussed the details of her job. I didn't know you were a big part of it, Jessica, and as one of the main contributors. Tim, why do you have this photo? Better not to tell her you found it at the police station. We don't want to make her worry. Um, well... As part of an assignment for one of our college courses, we were asked to write a report about the mayor. And we found this photo while looking at Papa's desk. Right, Tim? Right. It sounds like a challenging assignment. Whew, saved by Rachel's quick thinking. Um, can I ask about the others in the photo? Sure, I don't mind. Sorry if these questions end up killing the peaceful vibe. About you, Jessica. So you were working at the Pokemon Unity Lab. Does that mean you were a researcher? Yes, I was researching Pokemon behavior. Did you meet Mama through the project? No, your mother and I were in, were in different departments initially. I just, uh, I first learned who Emma was from a paper she published. So you were introduced to Rachel's mom through her research. That's right, Emma visioned a future where humans and Pokemon could communicate. Her paper really was revolutionary. Our colleagues had nothing but praise for it. I was awestruck by it too, of course. I went straight to her after reading it. We talked about her paper, research, all kinds of things. That's why I decided uh, I'd do whatever I, to I could do to help Emma. Well, that's not suspicious whatsoever. I didn't know her work was what brought you together. Yes, the entire project's launch was based on her paper. Sounds like Emma's paper was about building a new future for Rhyme City really changed her life. I don't even need to read Emma's paper to know that. Just look at how Jessica's beaming right now. About Mayor Myers. I assume Mayor Myers is in this photo because of the lab's uh, partnership with Rhyme City. Yep, that's right. We were able to focus on our research thanks to his support. He and Emma never let their outside relationship affect their work. But I remember they'd talk about Pokemon for hours. They always supported and understood each other. Sounds like Mayor Myers had been thinking about human Pokemon coexistence for a long time. Absolutely! The project never could have launched without his contributions. About Murdoch, Murloc. And Mr. Murloc was part of this project too? You know him? We ran into him in the city yesterday. He gave me the creeps. Even Tim was surprised by how overbearing he was. He plucked some Pikachu's fur and ran some tests on it. That sounds like something he'd do. He's a brilliant scientist, sure. But he also thinks he's the smartest person in, in any room he's in. And the only thing he values is his research. I didn't really like him, to be honest. Wow, Jessica, I never heard you say that about anyone. The way he talked about Pokemon, he had such obvious cont uh, contempt for them. He didn't even try to hide it. He also used the lab for his pet projects, even though it was a public research facility. No one knew exactly what he was researching. But the quality of his work was always so impeccable that people looked the other way. About Emma... I assume the woman next to you in this photo is Rachel's mother, Emma? Jessica, what was Mama like at the lab? I'd love to know. Emma had two great loves, her family and Pokemon. Everyone liked and admired her. A lot of us worked extra hard just because we wanted to impress her. I really looked up to her myself, and then... You don't have to talk about anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, and don't worry about me either. Okay. The project was going well, and morale was high overall, but then the R incident happened, and... Emma, she... She was one of the casualties. Rachel. Oh, is she dead? So that's what happened. I should have known. Guess Tim already knew. After the accident, the project was canceled. 
I heard the lab's been shut down too. I guess that's why uh, the mayor what set up that whole law with the uh, the Pokemon Protection Bureau. Because if like a Pokemon, like a Berserk Pokemon, like killed his wife, then I guess that would be like an understandable reason. But still, fuck that rule. And that's why you're in Bamboo Burrow now. That's right. I was nervous when I first came here, but everyone's been so kind. I'm enjoying myself here now. Hey. Thanks, Jessica. We were able to gather information about everyone in the photo. We even learned about the lab and the research they were doing. We still don't know why Unitas was targeting Jessica. We haven't seen anyone suspicious so far. Now that Butler's behind bars, I think it's safe to say that Jessica's no longer a target. Thank you, Jessica. We learned a lot today. I'm so glad I got to hear about everything, too. I'm not sure if anything I said was helpful. Trust me, it's a huge help. I'm sure our report will turn out great thanks to you. And by report, you mean detective work, right, Tim? What? Oh, um, uh... Ah, <sighs> couldn't quite stick the landing, huh? You'll get the hang of this eventually, Tim. You're good at telling when people are lying, but not so much at telling lies yourself, am I right? Hehehe. <laughs> ah, we've been boofed. I'm sorry, Jessica. Yeah, me too. It's alright, I could tell something was off from the questions you were asking, but the weirdness of this photo confirmed it. Huh? Did you think I wouldn't notice the red circle drawn around my face? Yikes, we forgot about that. I don't get why, but it seems like you're worried about me. I'm doing okay, nothing unusual has been going on either. Making Jessica worry exactly what I wanted to avoid. Guess I shouldn't rest on my laurels either. So, Jessica, should we head over to the car charcoal kiln soon? Yes, we should. Is there anything else you need to do? If so, I can wait until you finish up. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Uh, I guess we can go. I think we don't need to do anything yes. else here. This place. I'm sure of it. Hey, where are you going? Is everything all right, Tim? You two go on ahead. We'll catch up with you. Oh god, is it angst time? Yep. No mistake in it. What's going on, Pikachu? I knew this was the place. Bolt of brilliance? No, no bolt of brilliance. I see. How did it take me so long to realize? This place hasn't changed one bit since then. Did you remember something again? This is where I was protecting the injured Pancham. When I tried to get a close look at Pancham, I met Pikachu- I mean, I met Harry. What? So this is where you and Dad met. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, sure thing. About when you met Dad. You mentioned, uh, before that you met Dad in the bamboo forest. Is this exactly where it happened? Yep, this is where I was protecting Pancham while he was injured. Didn't leave his side once till he was all better. When I saw Harry come closer, I jumped out because he looked suspicious. Pikachu jumping out like that really startled me. I was just trying to get a close look at Pancham's injury. Huh? I guess I must have looked suspicious because the moment he, the Pikachu saw me, he tried to scare me off. Huh. Wait, hold on. Your story doesn't make sense. Huh? What part don't you get? You were protecting Pancham and then you startled yourself when you jumped out? What in the world? About Pancham's injury. So we're protecting the injured Pancham. Yeah, Pancham got hurt by Berserk Pokemon. I tried to help by battling the Berserk Pokemon, but it was too big. It took a lot of effort just to make it go away. Sounds like he helped out plenty. Anyway, I checked on Pancham's injury while Pikachu was trying to scare me off. I left Pikachu to watch over Pancham, then I ran all over the neighborhood in the bamboo forest to collect some medicine. Then I managed to heal Pancham, who knows that what would have happened if I had taken any longer. So you're protecting Pancham, and then you got medicine for Pancham. Was you or Dad who got the medicine? It was me, of course. Hmm. Another story from Pikachu that doesn't make sense. Doesn't even know uh, some of the things he said don't add up. That's not like him. I'm kind of worried. Something about Pikachu's story seems off again. I'll organize everything he said and figure out which part of the story sounded strange. Mm -hmm. I'll start out think uh, over what Pikachu said that he did when he helped Pancham. Uh, Pikachu looking for medicine while protecting Pancham. Oh. Pikachu said he sat by Pancham's side the whole time and protected him. If that were the case, he wouldn't have been able to look for medicine at the same time. These two parts of Pikachu's story clearly contradict each other. I have a feeling something was off about his memory. I should have him rest back in town. Oh. 
say, do you feel the ground shaking? Yeah, I do. Wait, huh? Feels like it's getting stronger. Because something's coming! This is bad! Oh! <gasps> Pangoro! Is that the one from the prison? Are the what are the Pangoro from the prison and the Panchan the same one? It's the same Panchan, isn't it? I knew I recognized you. Hey. Who would have thought we'd run into each other like this? Goro. Do you two know each other? Yeah, he helped me out back at the police station. We skipped to the attainment room together too. Oh! So it is the same Panchan uh Pangoro from the prison. I had no idea in a way. That means he helped me out too. Thanks for all he did yesterday, Pangoro. Goro. So what brings you all the way out here? Goro. Oh right, this is where you're from. Well, I hope you've been able to rest up, Pangoro. This has to be the same Pangoro that was the Pancham in the past. Goro. <laughs> oh shit. That was Rachel. Oh god, someone's in danger. It sounds like she's in trouble. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, this is kind of awkward. We kind of need to save her, but I'm getting really tired. So she's going to have to wait till uh, next week. Haha, <laughs> oopsies. 